Hello and welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. Today is hawk and trowel versus pan and knife. And what are the benefits and the disadvantages to each one? First, a really quick history lesson as to how each of these came about. And this is just hearsay that I've gotten from hours and hours of reading construction and drywall forums. But trowels are a plasterer's tool. So apparently what happened down in the States is the plasterers went into the stucco trades and apparently the painters union is the one that developed the drywall finishing trade when they were switching from plaster into drywall. So the painters took over that one and I think they just took their putty knives and just kind of grew their putty knives and then some dude probably brought in his wife's bread pan and started dipping his knife into it. Hence, we have the pan. Next, let's talk about volume. Which one holds more? So I'm gonna scoop as many as I like to comfortably work with into here. One, two, three, and that's actually comfortable, but if I really wanted to be a hero, I could probably get four in there. Now that's hurting my wrist and I don't like it, but can I get that onto the hawk? So that's not actually too bad. That's a reasonably manageable amount, as long as I'm getting it off of the hawk and onto the wall quickly enough. I can still kind of manage it. I'm gonna make a bit of a mess, but I can still manipulate it enough to keep it on there. So volume, I'd say they both hold about the same. <laughs> Thank you for the sound effects. Next, let's get into blade size and which one is easier to use. So this is a 12 inch trowel and this is a 12 inch knife. And I personally find once I get blades up to this size, I actually find a trowel a lot easier to use. And the simplest way for me to explain it is using a trowel is like rear wheel drive. You've always got your muscle behind the blade. You're always forcing it. So even when I'm pulling, my hand is still behind the mud that it's pushing. Now let's take a quick look at that. So as I'm pushing the mud, even going this way, I'm pushing it. Or if I switch sides, again, I'm pushing the mud. Even when going up, the force is still behind the mud. So the obvious conclusion here is that this one is like front wheel drive because you're always pulling the mud. So like this, going down, going up. I'm always dragging the mud and I can't get my mud as far before it starts to do this. Now I haven't been doing a very good job. So we got it to about there before it really started to fizzle out. So I can actually go the whole length of it pretty easily before it starts to thin out. And that I just ran out of mud. So one thing that knives are actually better for though is feathering an edge. It's much more intuitive and easy. In fact, using a knife is much more intuitive and user friendly to begin with. But for feathering this edge, right, I'm just pushing on the blade and pulling really nicely feathered that was really easy trowels on the other hand are not as beginner friendly and they take more effort to feather the edge it's still no problem but it's not as easy and you won't even have the muscles to do it yet if you haven't been practicing with these so while you can apply a lot of material with a pan and knife i do find that i personally can apply a lot more faster with a hawk and trowel and also with a lot less effort Another thing that I really like about a hawk and trowel is how easy it is to place mud on the blade where you want it. So I can very easily just adjust my mud, have a nice tidy little pile there, and then just pick it up and get it right in the center. So that when I'm going for that spread, it doesn't spill over the edges. A pan and knife on the other hand, I have a harder time not having it going from end to end of the blade. And what tends to happen when you're doing that is it sort of spills out over the edges, which on a wall isn't going to be a problem. So when applying mud to the ceiling with a pan and knife, see I'm already spilling it on myself. 
but I've often found it's really hard to not get all those blobs falling off the edge of your knife. Now, I've tried a few different things. Like I've tried to have my mud tidily collected in the bottom there, but I still just always seem to get it like this. And this is one of the reasons. You know what this stuff tastes like? It's chalk. But that's one of the reasons why I like a hawk and trowel better, is because I have a harder time skimming out my ceilings, and doing all that stuff and not making a mess and getting blobs of mud on my face. I'm sure there's a lot of guys that can really proficiently use a pan and knife on ceilings, but I'm not one of them because I've always done this. But I just find this a lot easier, right? Placed right in the middle of the blade. And I still make a little mess, but it's not as often. Oh! Big ol' Hypocrite of the Year awards, right guys? Either way, I find it a little faster. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned is that's more pertinent to the hawk than the fact that it's a knife. There is a third type of mysterious taper, the hawk and knife taper. So you can still get the same benefits by using a hawk, right? There's the mud, right where I want it. But man, I'm getting carpal tunnel just doing this. And I can't get a spread as far. It's just simply not the same. Also, it doesn't seem to work as nicely on here. It's harder to tidy your mud up and keep it clean. As you can see, the advantages for me to using a trowel is moving lots of material quickly. And the other thing is, I can also easily go up in trowel size. So I've got 14, 16, and 20 inch trowels. And they're all pretty effective. The 20 inch gets hard to not have it wobble, but I use that for filling in between corner beads or for floating out like big four foot joints. Very effective. Knives on the other hand, I don't like them even up to 12 inch. This 10 inch is as big as I like to use. Okay, so we've talked about the downsides to pan and knife, but there's actually a lot of upsides too. So what about taping? Can you tape with a hawk and a trowel? Well, you actually can, I've seen it. So what you guys should do is check out Laurier Desormo. I think I said his name right. French Canadian guy tapes with a hawk and a trowel and he's amazing with it. And you're gonna get a ton of really good trowel skills from his videos if you check them out. I'll link it in the description. But he actually tapes with a hawk and a trowel, except for corners where he uses a knife. And he does a good job, but I don't think it's the most effective method, personally. So let's tape with this thing, right? We're gonna get a little blob of mud, put it along. That's a big swath of mud. A little more than I needed for this paper tape. It's working. But just like how the knife felt awkward going too big, this feels awkward trying to do a smaller tools job. Now it's left a nice amount of mud under the tape, maybe a bit too much, but it's still, it's done a nice job. Now let's tape with a pan and a knife. So I would say though, that especially when applying the right amount of mud, the pan and the knife worked a lot better. So another thing is it can be kind of hard to hold a hawk full of mud and apply the tape at the same time. So you have to put it down, find somewhere to rest it. But with this, what you can do is quite easily just go like that. So I do that all the time when taping, which is why I always have mud there. So for small jobs, a knife is gonna work a lot better. So there's other things that a knife is gonna work way better for a trowel too. Like say, coating a corner, right? I can easily coat that corner with my knife. 
and I can get my knife into tight little spots easily without getting my knuckles into the corners. With trowels, if you're not careful, you can easily knuckle into the corner. And also, I mean, you really, you can't coat a corner with a trowel. Like, it just doesn't work. And I would have destroyed this other side if there was mud on it. So, if you've been wondering which tool is better, hawk and trowel or pan and knife, I would say they are both awesome at different jobs and I wouldn't be without either one of them. I love the trowels for bigger jobs. I love the knives for smaller jobs. Anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to check out the channel regularly. I'm always putting out more videos. Thanks for watching. I don't know how to close this video out yet. Throw the knife. Throw the knife? Yeah. Not this one. This one. <laughs> <laughs>